All right, what's going on everybody? As promised, I am back again in the, the anabolic kitchen, the magic kitchen here. Um, and we are making the mint chip ice cream. So I, I mentioned in my other ice cream video that I was trying to work on a mint chip version uh, by popular request. So without further ado, I'm gonna get right into it. Now, if you watched the first video, you already know the base of the ice cream recipe is gonna be some plain Greek yogurt of your choice and some cottage cheese of your choice. I'm using fat free of both. Um, I'd actually recommend getting some with a little bit of fat in it. The more fat you put in, imagine, imagine this, imagine this. The more fat you put in, the better it's gonna taste. Unbelievable, right? I know. Um, I prefer to actually get the fat in the cottage cheese um, over the Greek yogurt, but you may prefer it the other way around. That's fine. So generally for my recipe, I do uh, 200 grams of Greek yogurt and 226 grams of cottage cheese. So in 200 grams of Greek yogurt, you're looking at right about 20 grams of protein, 10 grams of carbs, and obviously no fat. Um, and then the cottage cheese, 226 grams of uh, cottage cheese is gonna get you 12 grams of carbs and 24 more grams of protein. So you're really looking at 44 grams of protein here. Um, I should say that's complete grams of protein. Of course, we're gonna get some incidentals here as well, but, but complete grams of protein are what counts. So we're gonna throw this in here. Make sure you give it a little stir to get that water mixed up. And you'll notice I'm using my small bowl today. This is a small portion. We're not using, we're not using the usual off-season bowl. You see that? Yeah. We're using the little guy. So I'm not actually going to measure this because I know I'm making a just a little half wimpy portion. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do some Greek yogurt. Right there. Yeah, I lick the spoon and then put it in the cottage cheese. I live alone. Fucking sue me. Bada bing, bada boom. So now, put the right lids on. You're left with this uh, beautiful, beautiful mush. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, real good, eh? Um, here's where the important part comes in. We're going to be using some peppermint extract. I picked this up off Amazon. Let's see if we can get that to focus. Yeah, there we go. That's the ticket right there. Now, shake it up, and the key here is to use very little, like too little, and then need to add more, and then you just add more. The first time I did this, I used just under a capful. Horrible idea. Absolutely disgusting. So, what I'm going to do Basically, just let it slowly drop out. It's kind of thick. It's it's viscous. Um, so we're just gonna do. Be very patient and just get one glop. And then we're gonna go ahead and give that a good mix. So that is the absolutely technical term for the amount I just put in here. A glop. One glop should be good. Two glops might be too much. We're gonna find out. So I can, oh, I can already smell it. And it smells, as you would expect, like peppermint, like mint chip ice cream. Um, not quite like toothpaste, thank God. I was a little worried, but. Now the biggest, the biggest thing you can do here, major key alert, is taste test. You know, things uh, you season a soup and you take a little, little, little check and then add some more salt. Well, that's what we're gonna do here. Oh no, that's perfect. There's your answer. You will need one glop of peppermint flavoring. Next on the agenda, the, probably actually, I like this is probably the most important ingredient. Let's be honest here. We just got some good old fashioned green food coloring here. Now this, ooh, careful, she's potent. I got a white shirt on, so we're gonna stand back Hold her nice and low. We're gonna go in with three drops. Just three, three little drops. And this stuff typically goes a long way. Too much green and you have now made it cartoonish and you've made, uh, I don't know, the Grinch ice cream? Ew. 
you're really going for that light green mint chip ice cream. Now, when I was a kid, they used to sell these ice cream loaves at the store where you'd cut into them and they'd, they'd have like a pattern on the inside and they had a Christmas tree one. For some reason, that one always tasted the best. And it was this color green, man. And this takes me back. That's, I think that's where my love for mint chip ice cream started with those, uh, with those loaves. So look at that. Bam! We got that green ice cream. Now toppings, mint, chip. How are we gonna do chips? Two ways. Depending on your macros, you can add in more or fewer or different. Completely change it up. No rules here, right? Number one, we got, oh my God, look at that. We, ugh, tragic. But anyway, we got these sugar-free, maybe, maybe, focus, yeah. Sugar-free Hershey's chocolate chips. We're just gonna throw in a small handful. When I say small handful, I mean a small handful. One serving, 15 grams, this uh, this is not 15 grams, is 70 calories, so a few calories worth off season here, whatever, we're gonna toss them in there. And then, I've got some, I've got one square of, uh, you won't be able to read it, but it's Ghirardelli, we only buy the best here. Ignore the rest being Walmart brand. 85% um, dark chocolate. Now when it comes to dark chocolate, the darker the better. Uh, you can uh, you kind of go with whatever, whatever taste you want. Don't get like the Hershey Special Dark. That's not real dark chocolate. When you're going for dark chocolate, you actually want the benefits of dark chocolate, the antioxidants and the actual good fats and stuff in it. Uh, a lot of those like 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 Hershey's, I'll, I'll shit on Hershey's here. Um, those dark chocolates they still have a ton of added sugars and they kind of process out all the actual good stuff anyway. Um, so I stick to darker the better. Regular good old, I guess we'll go gourmet dark chocolate. I, I don't know. You get the idea. And I'm gonna slice it into strips and then chop those strips into rectangles because when you eat mint chip ice cream, there's like little rectangles. That's the shape of said chips. So we'll go ahead and get, I'm probably making people nervous just flinging this fucking knife around. We're gonna go ahead and get to it. Yeah, so we've cut her one way, and as you can see here, that's kind of like the strips you're gonna get. Just these uh, thin little strips. Bada bing, bada boom. We'll line them all up. We'll give them a, a little turn here, and we're gonna cut the other way. Just a few times, get me some rectangle action. And we're done. Now we're gonna go ahead and scoop these in. You can go ahead and need to wash your cutting board because it's uh, dark chocolate. So here's, before I stir it, I'll show you kind of the texture. Stop focusing on my face. I know you want to, but don't. I'm hiding, maybe. Focus, focus. Yeah, there it is. Oh, look at that, just in time, right before it started to drip. That was actually damn close, holy crap. Whew, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up. Like it new, man. It just it just new. Not today. Oh, that this is looking. Oh yeah. So let me see if I can get a if I can get a spoonful up to the camera. Oh yeah. Come on, focus. Look at that. Oh man. So you're gonna seeing seeing's not always believing. All right. So you know, people say believing is seeing. Well, uh, I'll tell you. The point is we got these chunks of dark chocolate and some, some sugar-free chocolate chips in here. Mint chip ice cream. Now you can top this a variety of ways. I'll show you my favorite. I keep it off camera here just to avoid temptation. We got none other than the Great Value Sprinkle Mix. Now, who doesn't like some sprinkles? I mean, come on now, like guys. I mean, if you can get it open, if you're strong enough. Um, oh man. Oh man. So I do a pinch, a, a, a five finger pinch, all right, of sprinkles, another very precise measurement. And then last but not least, sugar-free chocolate syrup because you've got the more chemicals, the more chemicals we can put through our bodies, 
the better. I vouched for name brand dark chocolate for less processing. And then yes, I'm going to put the highly, the most highly processed items onto my ice cream. Oh baby. Now you probably should have put the sprinkles on first, but or, or the sprinkles on second to the syrup on first. But hey, look at that. Ain't she a beaut? This is our final product. I'm gonna go ahead and get a, a close up at the end. But now all we're gonna do is we're gonna freeze this. We're gonna throw it in the freezer for like 35 to 50 minutes. You can freeze it solid. Um, what I usually do is just that. I freeze it solid, then I bring it out, set it on the countertop while I make and eat my dinner. And if it's still frozen, throw a splash of almond milk in it. Just the good old fashioned vanilla unsweetened almond milk. It helps melt it and you just stir it up, make a nice creamy delicious snack. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you give this ice cream recipe a shot. I've got some more ideas. We're gonna make some more flavors. We're gonna do things, the unthinkable, all right? The unthinkable, we're gonna do crazy stuff. But until next time, it's been a pleasure and I will catch you guys later.